A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to Survival of No Limits. So, for today, I'd very much like to talk quite a bit about some more survival-related phenomenons. This one in particular is not very common, but it sure does happen. This is episode number 38, and I would very much like to say that this one could make you laugh. Feline pouncings. I say that this could make you laugh because you'd probably be very familiar with most pop culture references when it comes to a feline pouncing on top of somebody. But real life feline pouncings, a phenomenon as it is, regardless of if the animal is domesticated or it's violent, certainly is no laughing matter. Having a feline pounce onto you could be a sign that you're in for some real danger. If you're very familiar with attacks that have been done by lynxes, tigers, pumas, and various other feline related animals out there in the animal kingdom, then chances are, if you end up encountering one like them in the wild, especially in places like Africa, some parts in the States, and sometimes other parts of the world, then there's a good chance that the encounter could actually end up deadly. I can't really say for sure that I've had particular encounters of mine where I've pretty much just come eye to eye with an actual giant feline of whatever sorts, but the truth is, it's once again uncommon, but it does happen every now and then. There have been deaths and attacks that have been reported, and the list could just go on and on based on what kind of felines have been dubbed as dangerous. But whatever the case may be, the time has pretty much come for us to make a good statement on how you can defend yourself against these kind of attacks. There are, of course, bear-related techniques that you could use, such as making noise, putting objects on top of your head to make yourself appear larger in size, or of course you could try to defend yourself by curling up and punching directly in the animal's nose. And this does prove to be effective against feline related attacks, as it usually does with bears, but the thing is, a feline may not act much like a bear. So this could lead to a lot of other complications along the way. So the thing is, with how agile they are, how fast they prove to be, especially with the cheetah, clocking in at some pretty insane top speeds, making it the fastest animal to naturally get itself a running speed. The leopard, of course, is verily occupied by various other animals out there, including the ostrich and the roadrunner. But above all that, I will say for sure that I may not have had my own type of encounter like that, but I certainly would not want it to end in a pretty bad way. So, that's probably going to have to cut it at some point because I still do have a lot of work of mine that I would like to get done as soon as I can, but. There's always something else that I'm going to be busy. So, of course, that will do for right now. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.